So, hello. Um, I made it back from uh, the mountains. And um, I had salt and stuff all over my car, so I ran through the $7 car wash. Um, I really thought I was springing big time. You know, I had the undercarriage wash and the clear coat, whatever that means. Turns out those automatic car washes, washes, washes are not as good as you might hope. So turns out I've still got all these white spots all over my car from the salt. I should have sprung for the eight dollar wash instead of the seven. Um, I just, I guess I was just being cheap, you know. Went one notch down. Really should have gone for the, the, you know, the the mother load with the eight dollar one. I listened to the radio on the way back today, and I was thinking about space and the and the space program and all this stuff because I stayed in this town that had no cell phone reception because there is a satellite dish that okay it looks like a satellite dish they call it a telescope um, but it just listens to outer space you point it at a planet somewhere and you listen to see if there's some sort of intelligent life right and scientists hire it out for a certain amount of time to you know point to whatever spot they think there's aliens and listen Anyway, interesting thing is, in this town, there's like this truck that's outfitted with all this equipment. And so if anybody has any signal, I don't know, giving off device, they will come to your house, whatever, where you're at, and find you and help you turn it off. Uh, it turns out that whenever you turn on your microwave in this town, um, whenever the microwave's running, they know it. It's that intense. So, anyway, but we're listening to the radio and... And I and I kind of got sad because just now I was flipping through my my sketchbook here, and so I just got like you know random sketches of things and like oh that's weird. Um, sometimes they're not as pretty; they're just like ideas. I'm just going through dinosaur. Can't even see it. Oh well. Anyway, I got to this one. I drew this one when I was about I don't know maybe like the fourth grade or something. Oh, come on, there you go. Okay. Turns out it's the orbiter, like the space shuttle, basically. And they were talking about how one of the space shuttles, I think Discovery, had been on like 37 missions, and they're going to retire it. And I got really sad because <clears throat> the International Space Station, they're putting on a big storage closet into it, and then they're just going to basically call it quits because it's been up there 10 years, you know? Why would you keep using it? Um, I remember seeing that thing being built when I went to space camp in the fourth grade and how they didn't touch it with their bare hands because they didn't want it to corrode or tarnish because it's supposed to be up there a long time, right? Anyway, this whole phasing out of this form of space travel is kind of sad because I feel like it represents kind of the death of the space program to some degree because it seems like we've put less and less money into it through the years and it's so cool like I remember being a little kid and just thinking the space program is awesome anyway all right I'm probably boring you now but point being think of all the wonderful things that have come out of the space program like because they're you know going to the next frontier they're really lead users in the whole process of science and so they come up with these great ideas like Tang for example or Pringles, or memory foam, that was a product of NASA. Um, also we have things like the space pen, very useful um, for writing in zero gravity. And I know there's others, I know you know there's others, probably like, I don't know, maybe duct tape, probably came from the space program. Um, Gravity probably came from the space program. Okay, maybe not gravity, but um, I bet I bet the total gem came from the space gem, space program, along with I don't know, maybe hats like these. These came from the Russian space program, but they still came from the pro space program. I'm convinced. Anyway, we're gonna miss out on all these great inventions if we don't put money into the space program so even though yes I realize we probably have world hunger disease poverty AIDS um, you know people with disabilities 
we should still spend loads of money to send people into space and use a lot of research and development money to figure out how to do it because I think it really helps just a theory anyway um, so on that note wash your car with Tang and maybe the space program will come back yeah test out that logic